progress check. April 10th is today, and yesterday we had an entire day to work on this map. Um, here you can see the mirror made by Edmund yesterday. Um, and here we are, uh, Edmund, Stephen, Timothy. Uh, if anyone was here earlier, you can see everyone who's online. Here's a bathroom, nice showering noise. But before we explore the underground, let's first see what has happened above ground. Here you can see that the lava was replaced with water. And in the lobby, there's something else. So let's go into um, adventure mode. Let's switch to trackpad for now. E mode adventure. So here you can see that there's a house. And once we go inside it, it's the residence of the Dadanis. The, the Dadanis. We go up the stairs. The ladder and then go up here the secret entrance oh there's a lot of smoke in it i wonder what's inside oh, yeah. oh. dangerous where did i come from a fireplace it's more and more sending me to the basement what's down here wait Seems that we have been sent to his basement. Um, you've seen this before. It was once the feminist's room, but now there's a let me out button. It's a nice animation. <laughs> there's Warden Warden. <laughs> now we got teleported back to spawn. Oh. Did we trigger that in <laughs> Seems like there's some bugs with it. Oh, so here you can see my contribution. Let's join the game. Okay, we have an objective to obtain the Grateful Resource Pack. So let's choose our game mode, either Java or Bedrock Edition. Let's do Bedrock Edition. Minecraft. And there's a marketplace here. And our goal is to obtain the Grateful Resource Pack, which you can buy for mine coins. But, you know, we're on Java Edition. Let's play Java Edition. As you can see, it's the same place, but with the Java Edition subtitle and no marketplace. And here we have the internet. And to find the correct download link, there's actually an invisible barrier maze. And there's a bunch of download buttons. If we click one of them, it punishes us briefly for downloading malware. So we can't see, we're blinded, we're poisoned. But that lasts for like 10 seconds. Let's go through the maze. And here's the correct download button once we get to it. And now we're at ad fly. So here's a click now button. I have I need to add more delay to the skip ad button. If you click this one, you get the virus. But here, click skip ad. We teleported to this download area. This isn't a maze, it's just a long path to show, you know, simulate a uh, long download time, slow download speeds. And at the end, there's the downloads folder with the grateful resource pack. So there's actually an easter egg here. If you take, continue along this route, you can actually fall into the hole. Um, just like here. Ta-da, that's a hole. There's nothing in there for now. We might add like mine coins as an Easter egg. We can leave the game. 
sorry, that Easter egg was made by Edmund. I made the rest. So here we can you can see the other part of trivia. That part was trivia. This is also trivia. When we join the game, you can see that I built the basic parts, and then uh, Brandon added some extra details. Um, it's supposed to be a medieval theme, this branch. And so, ah, I forgot to start to get the signs. Okay, so you have an option between 1.8 PvP and 1.9 PvP. 1.8 PvP has a um, no attack cooldown sword. 1.9 PvP has a gives you mining fatigue and also a shield. Um, the problem with 1.9 PvP is that the attack cooldown is actually exaggerated. Um, so that it's a lot harder. Okay, so here is uh, Steven's no jump parkour. I'm attempting to jump, but you can't get across. So if I jump here and I fall, I get teleported back. Even if I go on the slab here, I get teleported back. If I go across here, you don't need to jump, but you can in, uh, get to the other side, which is pretty cool. Okay, here's a proof of concept for a parkour. Um, as you can see, it's very easy according to the sign, and it's also easily doable uh, without any cheating. But of course, as game pro five, you know, you can't do everything legitly. You gotta use some aptly named cheats to bridge across. Hmm. You think this is possible? No. Okay, let's get back up there. It's just a proof of concept. But you're only given five blocks. Oops. So you have to cleverly use your limited amount box to parkour across. Ta-da, like so. But here, I am, I'm assuming Brandon built this. It's, you know, a nice room. Very cozy house. And then once you get it through here, you see a uh, working end portal, I think. That will teleport you. Ah, it starts the end animation, I see. So Stephen has been working on parkour. Uh, firstly, here you can see a ravine that uh, Timothy made out of TNT explosions that nearly crashed the server. Here's a bridge I made across it. and. Um, Tim Timothy has been working on making villagers uh, walk across it, I believe, um, using some um, vindicators to chase them away. And then here you can see complex redstone that actually is just a timer for a timed conversation from Wolf Monkler. Okay, here is uh, Steven's parkour. So here you can see Wolf ah. Monkler and his dialogue. And then, ah. let me see, is there a way to, I got ah. inside the dragon egg. Ah. Scary. Ah. Ah. Dust is not to be trifled with. Just don't touch the ground. Well, I'm on the ground, so oops. Complex. I'm already struggling on this parkour. Oh, he just flew away. Okay, maybe I had to run through here. It's kind of like those exploration parkours, like in diversity. It's not going to give. Oh, okay. Is it because I'm in team friendly or something that I'm not dying immediately? Scary. Okay. Um. Then you can see that when you finish the level, let's first preview the rest of the level. 
So you go through here. Steven is such an intellectual at making parkour levels. I guess, oh, uh, here's a checkpoint. Very clever. And then you can continue down. It's quite a long level just for the coal branch. I believe there's like two other or three others. Uh, then do you go up here? I go through here. And then you jump into the water. And I guess you finish the level. Ah, I see. Very cool. Let's take these teleport back pads back to the lobby. And right next to the blue one to the parkour, we have a red one to the end, which will be shown at the end of the map. Here, you can see that Henry has been working on the final, the end building. I believe you spawn in here. And you can see it's our Lord. Game Pro 5 is Lord. All hail the Almighty. This is the church or temple of Game Pro 5 that will be shown to the players at the end when they finish everything. Well, that's clearly not all because, of course, there's all this underground stuff. As you can see, here is the, um, the mirror from earlier. It's around here. And you can see that... Um, let's enter here first. The mode adventure. So, you can see that it's quite a, nice, quite a nice bathroom. There's chests here, very interesting. But there's nothing in them. There's also a storage room that you can actually access. Because of course, paintings always hide secret entrances. That's just standard design. Um, out of this door, you can see that the, there's a bathroom key. Very interesting. Then there's, I guess, a barrier blocking entrance. Down here, you can swim away. Uh, the mirror is a bit buggy at the moment. It's still under development, I mean. Then, it's like a sewer or something. Sewer. And at the end, you can leave through this way. Oops. Okay. And voila. But let's see what the bedroom is. I'm assuming that uh, Brandon built this. It does. Uh, so I believe the story now is about Karen, a cultist Karen or cult leader Karen, um, who was actually Game Pro Five. There's a secret chest here. What's inside? Nothing. And then there's nothing this way. Interesting. Well, actually, um, back where at the beginning. Oops. Where am I? Back at the beginning where I showed off, near the beginning, where I showed off um, this room here. You can see that there's actually a hidden chest. And there's a abandoned trash bin. There is a book, let me out. There's uh, hmm, someone's head. And there's a key, a bathroom key. Let's see what this book contains. Let me out, let me out. Ah, yes. As you can see here, the Game Pro 5 statues and the Game Pro 5 logo have been removed. But don't worry, I saved them to a structure block 